Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I have a super glam makeup look for you and today I am using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2 palette. I thought I would create something um, a little bit more neutral but super smoky as well. I kind of took inspiration from the Fox Eye Trend that has been going around and decided to do something kind of really smoky and really winged out. But I wanted to dedicate this video to this palette um, so you can re recreate it at home, you can take inspiration from it or you can just enjoy watching the makeup tutorial. So yes, I really hope you like the look. Um, if you do want to see how I got this look right here then just keep on watching. So for foundation, I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm going to apply that with my Spectrum C07 brush. This is one of my new favourite um, foundation brushes. So it is um, quite dense and slightly flat as well, which I prefer. Normally I would use like a flat top um, foundation brush, but I like how this is a little bit flatter. So good thing about this is you can kind of like swipe the product on but then I can also bounce it to create a little bit more coverage and for concealer I'm going to use my NARS shape tape my NARS shape tape <laughs> I'm going to use my NARS radiant creamy concealer this one is a tiny bit lighter um, just to highlight a little bit but mostly just add a little bit more coverage and then for right underneath the eye I'm just going to use my beauty blender just to get right underneath there and then just bounce it all over my skin just to ensure there's no brush so I'm just going to set everything in place now this is the Huda Beauty um, easy bake powder and mine is in pound cake also the um, um, powder is quite finely milled so it doesn't look too heavy on the skin and it kind of almost like blurs my pores on my cheeks. So I love wearing it underneath the eyes. And it's kind of similar to my um, foundation colour. So I can kind of pop it everywhere um, as well. Because I wasn't sure if it was going to be too light for me. Because I was between this colour and the darker one. I can't remember what it's called. It's like the more yellowy one. But I'm glad I went for this. So if you are a similar kind of tone in foundation to me then um, this one is called pound cake then for bronzer I'm going to kind of change it up I know I always use my MAC one but I'm gonna use normally I use this as like a contour but it does have a little bit of a warm undertone but this is debutante um, bronzer by Morphe um, it's, it's so cute I don't know if this is like one of their mini ones um, um, I'm not sure if they do larger ones I'm pretty sure um, they do but I'm going to try this as a bronzer on its own. I'm going to pick up a tiny amount and kind of press it on the back of my hand. Because I do know that it is quite pigmented. So I don't want to go too much too soon. Um, that might be a little bit too cool tone for a bronzer. Maybe I was using it right. Because like I said, I would just use it as a... Um, Contour, use a different brush. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use it as a bronzer, but you know, that's what these videos are for. Um, I'm going to stick right, I'm going to use my MAC one, guys. If you have any recommendations for bronzers, then let me know. But yeah, that does look, I mean, they look quite similar, but this must have like a, a more cooler undertone, which is why now my forehead looks really muddy, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, but I'm going to try and fix my forehead. <laughs> I'm just going to go back in with my sponge and just try and blend that out because it's gone super... You know when it kind of just goes a bit muddy and a bit grey? That's really strange. Okay, so now I'm going to use that Morphe bronzer, but I'm going to use it more as a contour because um, it's obviously a little bit darker. I'm actually going to use that on a Morphe M405 brush. Um, and just use a touch just under my cheekbones. See, yeah, see it works fine as a bronze uh, contour. 
Also it helps when you contour um, after your bronzer because that way you have um, like a base colour there and you have something to blend your contour into. Whereas if you put your contour on first, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to blend out. Um, so yeah, definitely try that trick. So for blusher, I'm going to use Kiko Trio Blusher. This is in, it says 01 Shade Fusion Trio Blush. It doesn't have a name, um, but it's a really nice pinky tone blusher. And it is completely matte as well, which is really nice. And I'm just going to swirl my brush in all three. But we can always add more blusher um, later on, because you'll always find blusher is the first thing to fade on the skin so if you do your eyes you can come back to your blusher and apply a little bit more if you need to. I forgot I did have this Jaclyn Hill um, luminous powder so this is like the setting powder that gives you that um, kind of luminous glow that you can use everywhere. I forgot I had this. Um, I am oily so I think it makes sense for me to set my whole face with a normal setting powder and then maybe use this um, just in certain areas. So I'm going to go back in with my um, powder brush and I'm going to pop this um, kind of over the blusher because it kind of gives you that like glow from within but you can use it on your cheeks without it looking like too harsh. You know how sometimes you put highlight on your cheeks here and in daylight or in you know normal lighting it can really enhance your pores. Whereas this, it gives you like a really nice, I mean you can probably hardly see it on camera. Yeah, I haven't used it properly yet, but yeah, that looks really nice. I'm just going to spray a little bit of this just to settle down any powders. It just kind of merges everything together. Okay, so I have just done my eyebrows and I used the Charcoal Brown Eyeshadow by MAC and a MAC, what is this, a 286. Haven't worked for MAC for a while, so <laughs> pretty rusty on that. And I'm now going to highlight underneath the brow bone. I'm going to use the same concealer as before with a MAC 242 brush, a flat synthetic brush. And this is just going to carve out um, the brow, make it stand out a little bit more, and also highlight the brow bone. I also find this kind of just um, cleans your brows up um, so when you put eyeshadow on it just makes it look a little bit more neat um, obviously you don't have to do this if you've got like really nice fluffy brows you can skip this step For my base I'm going to use the P. Louise Room at 3 base. I also use that with a P. Louise 707 brush. It's super super flat so it's great for packing on that base. For eyes I am going to use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2 palette blah, 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 um, in collaboration with Morphe. So let's just get straight on to the eyes. One thing I am happy about with this palette compared to the old palette is that it has the names actually on um, the palette. So underneath you have the names. So that makes it so much easier. Um, so I'm just going to read out the names um, when I use it rather than like getting it back up. Um, let me know what you prefer. In my James Charles tutorial I kind of showed you what colour I was using. Um, but let me know if that's easier. I'm just going to read it out and I'll also have the names down below. So first of all I'm going to go in with my Morphe M443 brush and I'm going to dip into the shade Perfectionist now. And I'm going to pop that in my crease and work it all the way across to the inner and outer corner of my crease. So just in little circular motions. So I'm just building that intensity up just to make it a little bit more peachy. So kind of work it in your natural crease first with your eyes open. And once you've got the colour on there, so I use the tip of my brush to apply that shade. Then once I've got the colour in there, I turn it on its side and use the side of the brush 
to diffuse the edges. Okay, so with this color, this is where you can start to create your desired shape. So I'm thinking I want this shape to be a little bit um, elongated, so a little bit more winged out than I usually would. So to do that, the best way I find is to follow the bottom um, lash line. So um, a bit like when you do eyeliner. So uh, if a line was continuing up from your bottom lash line, start to work your brush in that direction. So from the bottom lash line, kind of flick upwards and outwards towards the hairline. So if you're ever wondering how to kind of create that sort of shape, just follow your bottom lash line, start to flick outwards. And then with the crease, you can then kind of connect where you've started to flick it outwards. So that way when we put our darker colours on top, we've kind of got a, a guideline of the desired shape. So next, using a Spectrum B07, um, and I am going to go into the shade Love Handles, and also dip a little bit into Comfort Zone, which is a tiny bit darker, to deepen up the crease of the eye. And I'm always very, very light-handed with my brush, so that way you know you're not going to apply too much pressure and too much product. So I've decided to take that colour up a little bit higher, and more to the inner part of my crease as well. Okay, so I'm gonna deepen up the outer corner now with the shade um, Thick Skin with my B10 brush by Spectrum. And I'm gonna work that into the outer corner of my eye. So this time I'm kind of like pressing my brush where I want it, so where I want the darkest point to be. So wherever you put your brush first, it's typically gonna be the darkest point, especially with a darker color. So kind of wiggling it into the outer corner. And you don't always have to use as many colors as I do, as I always say. But I do feel like you get the smoothest, most gradient blend when you do it that way. And you can do it with your eyes um, open, looking straight into the mirror, so you can kind of see exactly where the colour is when your eyes are relaxed and open. So that is a good tip when you've got um, hooded eyes. Always try and do your eyeshadow um, when your eyes are looking straight ahead in the mirror, because that way, when your eyes are relaxed, you can see exactly where your eyeshadow is going to be. So you always want to go higher. Um, when you've got hooded eyes because otherwise if you just do it all, all on the lid when your eyes are open you lose all of that lovely eyeshadow. Okay so I did feel like those colours are quite similar so I do want it, I do want to make it um, a little bit more, I think I just want to make it a little bit darker and deepen up the crease so I'm going to go in with a more precise brush now because I don't want to lose um, those kind of tones and cover them up. I'm going to dip into the shade Home Body um, with my Morphe M562 brush. So I want this to be really, really precise and I don't want to cover up those colours that I've already applied. So that way by using a super, super skinny blending brush, you can really focus your product. So by keeping kind of in that shape, I'm working it into the outer corner, kind of between the lash line and the crease of my eye, and slowly working that colour outwards, just to really enhance that shape, and make it a little bit darker. So what I tend to do is pop a little bit of concealer just on the inner part of my crease and then use a flat shader brush um, like this. This is, ooh, <laughs> this is the um, MAC 239 and uh, as if you were doing a cut crease by kind of like patting it on the lid and I'm going slightly higher than my natural crease. So this is also great with making your eyelids appear bigger because if you take it up a little bit higher than your natural crease, that just enhances that area. 
and work it across the eye so we're going to kind of keep it in the inner quarter as you can see because we've used that brush it makes the line really diffused rather than really harsh so for the lid color i'm going to go in with the shade ride or diamonds i'm pretty sure this might be like a pressed glitter it definitely feels like a different texture to any of the eyeshadows on or in the other palette so i don't know how it's going to apply with a flat brush so first of all i'm going to see Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna apply it with my finger first. <gasps> that is so pretty. Because I haven't used these yet. Yeah, it definitely works really well with my finger. I just tried it with a brush on my hand um, and I feel like um, it doesn't pick up as much color. So for the mid shade, well, the middle shade. So I want a color to kind of go between um, that shimmer and that matte just to kind of merge the two together um, and I want to use more of the shimmery colours so I'm going to go into the shade um, Get Ready With Me or GRWM and I'm going to kind of pop that on the edge of those two colours I definitely used the wrong one, I was going to use Bougie but uh, maybe if I pop it on the top <laughs> Um, I swatched bougie and then accidentally went in with get ready with me, but you can just mix the two I'm just gonna kind of press that on top because bougie is a little bit more pinky and I feel like it goes with The kind of vibe that I'm going with so I'm just gonna press that on top. You don't have to do both But you know, that's what we're doing I'm just gonna go back into the shade homebody um, with that same um, M562 brush and I'm just going to run that across the lash line just because I lost that kind of colour a little bit with the shimmer shades just merge those colours together okay so I do want to add a little bit of black eyeshadow but I'm going to apply um, um, a, little, <laughs> a gel eyeliner first um, just because I want um, the liner to be a little bit smoky so I find by putting the liner on first it gives you a little bit of a base um, and also your black eyeshadow has something to stick to and it just makes it um, a little bit more dense so I'm going to use a MAC 210 um, to apply that so I'm going to kind of do it a little bit thinner to thicker, but I'm um, just going to do a line, I'm not going to do a wing. So once I've kind of got the base there, I'm going to make the outer bit a little bit thicker. Like so. And now we're going to go in with our black eyeshadow. So um, I'm going to go in with Temptress, Temptress I think it's called. And I'm going to take that on the M562 brush. So sticking with my detailing and um, blending brush, I'm going to firstly kind of get a little bit of shadow down first of all. So I'm going to kind of like press it very lightly because I don't want this to go up too high. So just bear in mind when you apply black eyeshadow, um, it does tend to travel up quite high when you blend it out because it's such a dark, um, deep, intense pigment. So I'm just lightly kind of running it across that line on the outer edge. Once I've kind of got the colour there, you can then kind of start to work it in the outer corner. I'm just going to switch to a MAC 212, a flat definer brush. So same sort of technique, just press it on the edge and kind of work it across just over halfway of the eyeliner. So we're, cre we're creating a super smoky liner. So just go over the edges and repeat that a couple times. Okay, so now you've kind of smudged that black eyeshadow over the top of the liner. We're then gonna kind of work out, um, sorry, blend out those black edges. So I'm gonna go back into the shade Homeboy um, with a Morphe M562. So I've just picked up a clean one, but you can obviously clean off the one from before. And I'm just gonna slowly blend that over the edge of the black and kind of work it in the direction of to kind of create that elongated feline shape but i didn't want to take that black out too far because as i said before black does travel when you blend it out so i kind of want to work the brown color 
out first just because otherwise if you kind of go out with your black eyeshadow sometimes it can be really hard to blend out and hard to take away if you apply too much so kind of keep your black eyeshadow within the crease and then you can use your homeboy colour to kind of work it outwards so you can see just by deepening up that outer corner um, it just really enhances that shape so now you can go back in with your black and just deepen up that outer corner but bring it out slightly towards um, where you put that same homeboy colour a little bit of mascara to my top lashes this is Spectrum Dark Matte Mascara I just added a little bit more concealer underneath my eye because um, the black had dropped down so I literally just used a little bit of makeup remover and just redid my under eye. So I'm going to use Costa Riche um, Eye Pencil by MAC and I'm going to pop that in the waterline. And I'm going to use the shade, I'm going to use the shade Comfort Zone to blend underneath that brown liner. And kind of a little bit over the top of it as well. And I'm going to go into the shade Perfectionist, which was the first colour that we used. And just blend that underneath the lash line. Just to add a little bit of warmth and kind of mirror the top lash line. So for highlighter, I'm going to use Jaclyn Hill Loose Highlighter in the shade Bomb. I'm going to use that on a Zoeva 134 brush and just hit the high points of my face. So for lips, I'm going to go in with the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the colour Taunt. Okay, excuse, I've got black in my hair because I was painting <laughs> the banister yesterday. Um, so yeah, ignore that. So for lip liner, I'm going to use the... the oh, sorry, I keep mucking up my words. NYX Lip Liner in the shade London. I haven't actually tried Morphe liquid lipsticks before. Yeah, this is a liquid lipstick, um, yeah, matte finish. Um, this is one of the ones that they sent me. So I said that I would um, show you some of the lip products. Mm, that colour is really nice. I feel like on my skin tone and my hair colour, I kind of need something a little bit more nude. So I am going to pop um, a lighter lipstick over the top. This is also by Morphe. It's called Wifey. Um, yeah, I like that colour. I think that would look quite nice with like more of a um, subtle eye colour with the lipstick. I'm kind of going to pat it on first. Okay, I'll probably keep it um, matte because, I don't know, I feel I quite like dark eyes with um, super matte lips. Especially when you've got like a black liner. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the look finished. I'm going to do one last spray of the setting spray. That is basically the finished look. I really hope you liked it and you took inspiration or you learned something. Um, hopefully you just enjoyed watching. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. Um, you'll definitely be expecting more videos from me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a great day and you'll see me in my next one. Bye!